Welcome to the 129th commencement exercises at the Cambridge School of Weston. In true CSW tradition, the class of 2015 has created a beautiful ceremony for you here today, a program that illustrates our values and the true power of our mission as a progressive school. For the uninitiated, you are about to get a heaping helping of the true essence of CSW. CSW prides itself on being student-centered, and nowhere is that more evident than in our graduation ceremony. The father of counterculture education, or what some like to call progressive education, John Dewey, once said, education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. Class of 2015, you may have thought you were spending your high school years preparing for the next phase of your life, college, work, etc. But all of this time, you were living, experiencing, making choices, having an impact on people, both negatively and positively. And this moment, graduation, is a time to stop and think about the various things in your life that have given your life meaning. At CSW, love from the adult community is essential. Without question, there are many, many adults who play a pivotal role in making CSW the best high school experience in the world. The staff, the administration, dorm parents, many, many others. But for now, I just want to focus on your classroom teachers. They loved you as they tried to engage and challenge you, as they sometimes pulled you into the supportive nest and sometimes pushed you out, as they accommodated you and held the line, constantly struggling to get just the right balance for each of you individually, sometimes, oftentimes, getting it exactly right. We as a class know the importance of being progressive. It is in our values as a product of this school, a value that we have to take away from this school, as Rachel Hirsch put it so powerfully. Progression means change, and changes can mean improvement. In the last four years, we have seen a lot of change in our world, seniors, and we have always addressed it. I'm not talking about a new gym or orange chairs in the library. I think that color is kind of cute, Kamara. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about how we know everything is not OK in our world. The amount of activism that this class has done inspires me and should inspire you, too. We dipped our hands in red paint with Devin and JR, and we watched Poetic Justice give voice to those who are voiceless. We watched people occupy our city and then helped each other cope with when terrorism, terrorism came only three miles away. CSW seniors, we know wrong and we know better. Our history teachers preach to us the value of the past to look for trends and patterns and react and predict and to stop and to change and to fight. We have to make sure that in the future, it is a different time, a better time. We know the severity of the education gap. We understand the privilege as students of this school. We know that third wave feminism is alive and that women's rights isn't about equality but about equity. And as voters in the next election, we know that Hillary's wardrobe doesn't matter, but black lives do and trans lives do, and all lives do. We have to dream and work for the world where war is only used in textbooks and not as current headlines, and we have to know the dangers of our mainstream media. We have to make the future with what we've learned here and now. In the words of the late great poet, novelist, playwright, and social activist Langston Hughes, life ain't been no crystal stare. There have been many deaths, anger, fear, riots, and more. Even here in this community, we have found vul vulnerability in our peers. Through it all, though, the main word that kept popping through my mind was unity. How are people working together? How are we helping each other? Are we loving instead of trying to hurt one another? One day, an idea I thought of while in conversation with Nayela during B Block was how I wonder what life would be like if we didn't live in fear. I especially said we shouldn't fear our worth. Following that, I don't think we should fear being worthy. In one of artists, Chance the Rapper's songs, he says, everybody's somebody's everything, nobody's nothing at all. Seems like a simple phrase at first, but when thinking about it, it's true. Every single person in this room, every single person in this class, and every single person on this earth is somebody and has worth. No matter where we go in life since the day we were born from this point forward, we should always ha hold value in ourselves. 
And we shouldn't fear expressing who we are as long as we aren't expressing ourselves to her. Look at how far we have come.